The National Heart Institute, IJN, once again made history by being the first hospital in Malaysia to successfully perform the intravascular lithotripsy procedure. IVL is a new procedure aiming to treat patients with severe calcified atherosclerosis. Hi, I'm Mariam Azmi, and today's Heart News, we will take a look at a technology that uses sonic waves to break down calcified plug accumulated in the arteries. Atherosclerosis is a condition where cholesterol, fats, and calcium deposits form plug in the arteries which can restrict blood flow. When discovered early, atherosclerosis can be treated with lifestyle changes and medications to slow down and even reverse the buildup of plug. More serious blockages are commonly treated by using angioplasty and stent placement. However, angioplasty may not be useful in severe cases. Where the plug has hardened and become calcified, patients may have to undergo invasive surgical procedures where doctors have to surgically remove the plug or even perform a graft bypass to ensure good blood flow. The intravascular lithotripsy is a newer and safer method to treat heart patients suffering from severe atherosclerosis. Right, so what this therapy does, it causes a short wave and it breaks up this calcium in very small molecules. And because of these small particles that are formed when this calcium breaks up, it does not cause any major complication to the artery and even downstream from where the lesion is. IVL is not a replacement for angioplasty. You must remember that IVL is preparing the narrowing so that you can balloon and put a stand after that. If you can imagine, if there's your artery is there's a lot of calcium deposit in the artery, you will not be able to balloon the artery to the size that you want before you put in the stent. So this is a device that helps in the preparation of angioplasty and stenting of the vessel. That of Dr. Amin Aruf Nuruddin, Senior Consultant Cardiologist in IGN, explains that IVL utilizes a catheter with a balloon attached similar to angioplasty. However, the balloon used during an IVL procedure creates sonic pressure waves to break up plug instead of just physically pushing it away. While other treatments can differentiate between calcium and soft tissue, the acoustic pressure waves technology used in IVL pass through soft tissue to impact both intimal and medial calcium, creating a series of microfractures. This will allow blood vessel lumen expansion and optimize stent deployment at the narrowed vessel area. The accuracy of IVL minimizes the risk of causing trauma to organ tissue as it selectively pinpoints the blockage. As I've just uh, explained, it is an adjunct therapy. There are other devices that can reduce the calcium in the artery which causes the narrowing in the artery. But this is one of the devices that uh, is used and uh, we can show the advantages of this device compared to the other devices that gets rid or reduces the calcium in the artery. There is no absolute contraindication of using this device because it uses uh, sonic uh, pulse therapy. The only thing is that you will have to prepare the lesion so that the balloon can pass the lesion which has a lot of calcium in it. As you know, if there's a lot of calcium, sometimes the balloon may not be able to pass. As long as you can pass the balloon to the area of the intense calcium, then uh, you can proceed with this procedure. There's no absolute contraindications if you can pass to the narrowed segment. This IBL procedure is relatively uh, safe. It's a very short procedure time. As you can see, the equipment is very minimal. And this is something that uh, is good and the risk of complications is much less compared to the other debulking uh, uh, procedures. So definitely this is something that uh, uh, probably will catch on in the one of our amenitarium of uh, devices that can be used to reduce the calcium that causes the narrowing of the artery. 
with that, we end today's hard news. I'm Mariam Azmi. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and don't forget to subscribe.